So the last time I was at Disneyland, I witnessed waiting line theory firsthand. As I was approaching an attraction, there was a team member standing at the beginning of the line that actually handed me um, a card and asked me as I followed through the line to keep this card with me and give it to the team member that was standing at the end. Both team members, here's our other little friend here, had a clicker that they pressed a button, which uh, simultaneously, once when I handed it to him at the beginning and the other at the end, that served as a virtual timer, letting them know how long I had been stand standing in line. This virtual queue is indicative of the entire wait time for each guest that comes to Disneyland, and it saves Disneyland money because that's something that a team member or another employee would generally have to do. Um, and instead they're using a guest who's already going through the line to do the same thing. And it's going to save me time because they then will turn around and post this information to a, uh, to a, a display screen right outside of our attractions, letting me know, do I want to stand in line now or do I want to come back at a time that's more convenient for me to pack in as many rides throughout the day as possible? We know the problem, but now how do we fix it? Because we're still inevitably going to be stuck in lines at the grocery store, at the bank, and even when we're sitting in our cars because there's still those pesky toll booths. So how do we alleviate this problem? This is where our business manager comes in. What we need to do is we need to find out, we need to have more lines at the grocery store, whether we need to have more bank tellers, or if we need to have more traffic lanes open on the toll roads. And to address this, we need to weigh the services of our customers, and especially with our costs. In other words, the central problem in virtually every waiting line situation is a trade-off decision. The manager must weigh the added cost of providing more rapid service, like more traffic lanes, additional tellers, and more checkout stands, against the inherent cost of waiting. Because we all know time equals money. Frequently, the cost trade-off decision is pretty straightforward. If we find that the time and cost are reduced when our employees analyze the wait time, we then compare the cost of installing one additional machine or person to the value of time employees and clients save. The decision could then be reduced to dollar terms and the choice is easily made.